What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and of course, everything you love, everything that you enjoy, everything that, you know, um, gets, provides you any level of escapism is and will always be coveted by those wanting to politicize every little possible thing. I saw this happen to Magic the Gathering, the game I played since 1994. A game I played my entire life became heavily politicized and became zero fun after that because it was just tainted. Even the knitting community has to deal with this. If you think I'm kidding, there are dozens of articles about it. Now, uh, the daily app Wordle. Now, everything I've learned about Wordle has been against my will. I don't play the game, but I don't behoove or I don't judge anyone who wants to play Look, my wife is on like level 9,000 something something on Candy Crush she's never put a single dollar into the game and I think her tablet thinks it's 1893 but I don't make fun of her for it everybody has their own little mobile games I mean I when I say like I play Raid and Mac Arena and like Ebony I literally do because I like to just check out on stuff uh, and just relax well Wordle has been kind of this sensational word game where you guess the letters and a lot of people play it. But now, of course, it was purchased by the New York Times. I don't know how the New York Times has any money to be purchasing anything, but since they purchased it, they decided, hey, let's cram whatever the day's heavy political conversation is into the game. New York Times admits that it, quote, changed today's Wordle answer for being too politically charged, but says some players were still shown the original after users complained of two solutions. Now, is it possible that the word, is it possible that the word was just there and had nothing to do with what's going on in the Supreme Court? Yes, I suppose it is entirely possible. Is it likely that some woke employee at the New York Times or uh, Wordle decided to do it anyway or push it through because of everything going on? Yeah, of course that's possible too. Now, the New York Times had admitted it changed the answer of Monday's Wordle from being too politically charged after users complained of two possible solutions. Time bosses who own the popular word guessing game said they changed the planned May 9th answer from fetus to shine after the original solution was flagged last week. That came after last Monday's leak from the Supreme Court, which was probably planned, at least in my opinion, uh, indicated to end, or indicated that they had plans to end Roe v. Wade law. Um, but the New York Times admitted Monday that it was unable to completely remove the original. I'm sure they totally tried. I'm sure they were like, oh, man. All we had to do is change the word or move today's word to tomorrow, but we just couldn't do it. Meaning some players are still offered the solution. The Times admitted, I'm sorry, the paper issued a statement saying some users may see an outdated answer. Wait, are you calling fetuses outdated? That's kind of a, that's kind of a bold thing to say. At New York Times Games, we take our role seriously as a place to entertain and escape, and we want Wordle to remain distinct from the news. Oh, do you? Maybe. Hey, if, if this is actually the case, uh, I bet you the left is outraged. Because of the current Wordle technology, it can be difficult to change words that have already been loaded into the game. When we discovered last week that this particular word would be featured today, we switched it for as many solvers as possible. You won't receive the outdated version if you have refreshed your browser window. But we know that some of you won't do that, and as a result, you will be asked to solve the outdated puzzle. This is entirely unintentional and a coincidence. It's a coincidence! Today's original answer was loaded into Wordle last year. Is it true? Is it possible? Um, yeah, I think it's entirely possible that this really was loaded in last year. It's possible. I mean, you see, you know, I just played my last game of Wordle, Tomorrow's Wordle, Abort. Um, 
This goes where I started and started. Uh, this goes where I started and my starting word. Wait, what? They aborted it. <laughs> That's my opening word. Um, WTF? You know, I don't know. I, you know, I, I, are, are the left mad? Now they're censoring, censoring the dictionary. I don't know. Is it is it a coincidence? Hmm. Hmm. I have a hard time believing that it was a coincidence. I just do. I don't know if, um, if that's, you know, I can't prove otherwise. But it sure seems coincidental. The change in answers comes as one week after, one week after Politico first released and leaked United States Supreme Court documents decision that they would overturn Roe v. Wade with Chief Justice John Roberts confirming its authenticity the next day. In the opinion of Justice Samuel Alito writes, Roe was egregiously wrong from the start. We will hold that Roe and Casey must be overturned. It's time to heed the Constitution and return the issue to the people's elected representatives. Almost immediately after it was released, liberal Democrats took to Twitter to vow to fight against the decision, with Representative Ocasio-Cortez tweeting that Senator Joe Manchin is preventing a vote on codifying the rights into law, while Senator Bernie Sanders suggested ending the filibuster to get it passed. Well, what's interesting is that, you know, when you had a Democratic House, Democratic supermajority, you didn't do anything about it. Joe Biden uh, didn't do anything about it when he was uh, there, before he was president. I'm not exactly sure what you want. I mean, am I supposed to ignore history? You know, I think you see that, but the liberal media doesn't care. They're going to use it and run the, the agenda anyway. Here's Kotaku, a video game website. Wordle removes fetus answer following the attack on abortion rights. Really, again, I don't really understand, you know, Nothing is, by the way, official yet. It remained fascinating to watch Wordle, now a cornerstone of the New York Times game section, after being acquired for a low seven-figure deal, which is actually insane, earlier this year, follow the footsteps of every other major game before it. Players devise optimization strategies to maximize their win streaks, back-end tech issues have invited community backlash, and now the New York Times is trying its hardest to keep Wordle from appearing political. The company started censoring answers and guesses shortly after it took the app over, calling words that ranged from naughty to potentially offensive. According to Try Hard Games, which has been tracking these changes, fetus wasn't the only word cut last week. Butch was also taken out of the rotation around the same time. The crossroad puzzle is yet another mainstay of the New York Times that has tried to keep apolitical in recent years, despite the ongoing battles and genuinely terrible things happening in the world that make it virtually impossible. Following the decision to remove fetus from Wordle, however, the Times appears to be more concerned that different correct answers once again split the player base more than anything else. So they're mad. They're mad about it. You know, that's 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 where we are. Is like the the media's the left wing media is mad that Wordle removed it. Do I think that Wordle had this? you know, a year ago? Uh, probably. Probably. Um, do I think it's funny that, like, the media is blasting them for trying to remain apol apolitical? Yeah. That's because that's what they do. Like, they're, the, the media is seething that they remove this, guaranteed. Now, if they would have left it in and said, hey, yeah, we did that on purpose because... You know, we we you know we just want to raise awareness, blah blah blah. Uh, the the media would have been bending over backwards to promote it because that's really what they want. You could say like, oh, you know, Kotaku's taking the position here, like, well, how could anyone possibly remain apolitical? You know, it's a crossword puzzle. Of course, it has to be political. Why? Well, what do you mean? Of course, crossword puzzles are political. It has to be that way. I mean, that's because when you view everything through the lens of politics and things that are, you know, interested in the things that you want to write about, you know, like these journalists, I think that if the New York Times is really trying to remain apolitical in their games, that is smart. 
that's what people want. Do I think they will be able to... Do I think the New York Times use their games as another way to get into people's heads and push agendas, though? Yep, I do. I believe the New York Times want, wanted Wordle because it expands their reach, not because they have any interest in providing fun games for people. And, I, and, I, and I, that's exactly why I don't necessarily suspect that this was an accident at all. But if it wasn't an accident, then they bungled the bungled the response to it because they should have just doubled down on it so the media wouldn't turn on them. What a mess. Everything has to be political because nobody can enjoy anything. That's why I collect NES games. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.